Hey guys, what's up? It's Wednesday the 18th of November. I thought it might be nice to just do a little bit of a, a vlog type video to give you guys a look kind of behind the scenes at what I typically do on a normal day. It's around about 9.30. I've been up, I've showered, I've had my breakfast, I've got dressed and I'm ready to go. I've got a training session this morning, 10 till 12, so I'll be heading off to the gym in a moment. I've got a friendly competition on Saturday, so I'm just beginning the, the tapering phase of my training. I did a lot of heavy routine work earlier on in the week and last week, a lot of endurance training. So I'm feeling a little bit beat up, a little bit lethargic from that, so I'm going to have a fairly light maintenance training session today, perhaps go through a little bit of basics on floor and rings and a little bit of landing work and stuff like that. Uh, maybe do a little bit of tutorial filming for some tutorials which I've got coming up in a couple of weeks time um, and then we'll go from there. So as most of you know I'm a pretty big hip-hop fan so I never really drive anywhere without bumping a little something. At the moment I'm listening to The Game's new album, the documentary 2.5. It's got some real good gangster rap vibes to it so I really recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. Um, the gym's only actually a five minute drive away for me so um, let's go. So this is the little lane which goes to the gym. Every single morning this woman is always here walking her dog. So she must pick this lane because she thinks it's like a really nice quiet walking spot and every single morning I come and ruin it for her. I do feel bad, bless her. But maybe she should pick another lane because there's lots of identical ones with no cars driving down them, I don't know. Yesterday, when I was coming out of the gym, this tree on the right had fallen across the road. A group of 15 of us moved it out of the way. So, um, luckily the road is clear this morning. So yeah, here we are, at the gym, right out in the middle of Nowheresville. It used to be a farm. Converted the barn into a gym. So here's the gym. It is nice to have this space to myself a couple of mornings a week. My coach Jill will be along in a moment, but um, she normally just kind of gets on with a little bit of paperwork or a bit of cleaning or something like that and lets me get on with my own thing. Um, we have no full-size floor here and it's not quite as bouncy as a proper floor. Um, and we have no rings above the pit and we also don't have a full-length vault run-up. So I normally don't do my full routines at Worcester, I save them for when I'm in Birmingham, but I can get all of my basics, all of my drills and all my conditioning done here, so it's still really kind of beneficial to my training. It's time to de-trouser. Man means business. So it's just gone 12, morning training done for the day, it was a nice little chilled session, you know, nice to do a little bit of maintenance work and get on all three pieces and just do a few, few little bits, um, you know, that's what a lot of gymnastics is, a lot of my training is not particularly exciting, it's not new skills, it's nothing glamorous like that, it's just a lot of conditioning, a lot of stretching, a lot of basics, a lot of drills and stuff like that, which um, a lot of people don't really get to see, but that's the reality of it. Somebody's going to be pleased to see me. 
Hello, Ruby. Hello. I only have two lunches a day. I'll have one around about an hour, like 12.30ish, and then I'll have another one just before I head out for coaching. Um, this is what I'm having for my first lunch today. It's a high-protein salad, pre-prepared from yesterday. We've got quinoa in there, falafel, cashew nuts, lots of protein and lots of um, tomato, cucumber, pepper, all that kind of stuff to get the, the micros in, which is important as well. So. Okay, so whilst I let my food digest, I'm going to um, do a little bit of editing. I'll start editing this video and I'll also be starting the edits for um, two of my tutorials, which I did a little bit of filming for during this morning session. Start with smallish swings, making sure that you're kicking at the bottom of the swing, showing a good strong dish shape on the front swing and a strong heel drive. So I'll, I'll usually spend um, like 30 to 45 minutes or so in the afternoon just going through a little bit of rehab, prehab, that kind of stuff, just kind of making sure that my body's feeling good. Um, at the moment I'm carrying a few minor little injuries and strains. I've got really, really sore biceps from all this iron cross work which I've been doing recently. Um, elbows need a little bit of rehab as they always do um, and I'm feeling a little bit of shin splints at the moment as well so I'm going to take a minute to probably ice my legs. Um, this is my new favourite thing, I've got the foam roller which I'm going to use to massage my biceps in a moment, shout out to George Killick for the recommendation. I also have this new bicep stretch which I'm working at the moment, particularly on my left side because my left bicep is quite sore. Um, thanks Will Fisher for the suggestion, I can really feel this one working. The stretch really gets right into the inside of my elbow which is where I get the most of my problems. So I'm trying to do this stretch for three sets of 30 seconds every day at the moment. So um, something which I do after every um, ring swinging session is just take a moment to kind of maintain my hands. I don't think I'm ever going to get a career as a, a hand model looking at them, but um, I'll just kind of, I have this little thing which I used to clip my nails, but I use this to trim off the dead skin, and then I have this little nail file to kind of smooth the calluses out, and I find if I do that after every session it keeps my hands feeling good and I find that I rip a lot less often. Um, this is my fifth day in a row swinging rings, so my hands are really starting to feel it. So I'm going to try and make sure that they're feeling good, ready for the weekend. Best friend stick, you will cry too. Sometimes I don't even want to be a pirate. Then I think about it, confident ain't shit, really. And I've been at the bottom of the pit, feel me? Okay, it's about 3.30 now. I've done all the rehab stuff which I need to do. Um, I've done about an hour or so of editing, so I'm going to move on now to doing a little bit of work. I've got a few emails I need to send and stuff like that, and I'm also going to do a little bit of work on, on this bad boy here. I'm doing my level 2 gymnastics coaching course at the moment, and in a couple of weeks' time, I've got my the final day of my course, which includes a practice assessment. So I'm just starting this week to kind of put the pieces of my session plan for that together and make sure I'm ready for that practice assessment in a couple of weeks time. It's almost five o'clock now, as you can see it's pretty much dark outside. That's November in England for you. I'm just making my uh, second lunch of the day. Got a couple of poached eggs on the go, I'm going to have them on toast again. Fairly light, high protein, just to kind of tide me over until I have dinner when I get back from coaching later on. So before I head out to coaching, I always try and take a moment to kind of plan what I'm going to do that evening with my kids. Wednesday is actually one of my more relaxed coaching days because I only do two hours. I only work six till eight this evening. Most days I typically do between three and four hours. Um, we have three main squads on both the boys and the girls side at our club. We have the A, B and C squads. A squad do the um, national elite grades. B squad as of next season we'll be starting to work towards the uh, national club grades and C squads do the um, regional competitions and the floor and vault competitions and stuff like that. And I have my junior C squad boys today, one of my favourite groups to work with because they're really starting to improve and they've got a lot of enthusiasm as well. I have um, conditioning programmes printed up here for all of the groups which I take um, so that I know what conditioning the guys should be doing on each day of the week. Uh, my C squad boys on Wednesday week two, which is today, 
have upper body conditioning, so we're going to start the session off with that. They have this set to go through. Nothing particularly specific at this stage because they're all still quite young, but just trying to get their generic upper body strength up as best as possible. And then once we've got our conditioning done, we have floor vault and p-bars to go through. On floor and vault, they have routines and competition work to go through because they have a floor and vault competition at the start of December. And on p-bars, we've been doing a little bit of work over the last few weeks on drop-up starts and swings to handstands, so we'll probably um, carry on with that. Laying down to the gym is definitely a lot more sinister at night. <laughs> okay, so coaching's done for the day. Nice little session, nobody died. The kids got through some clean routines, so I can't really complain with that. En route home now, hopefully um, dinner will be on the table or at least nearly ready. Very, very grateful to my parents for cooking for me almost every night. One of the many perks of living at home, so that's something to look forward to. And um, this evening I'm just gonna, gonna chill, you know. I have two of my favorite TV shows to watch this evening. The Apprentice is on and episode two of the final series of Peep Show is on as well. So I'm extremely excited to watch those two things and I'll catch up with you all later. Testing weeks. I really don't know what to do. I messed up a bit, didn't I? Oh my God. One life-changing opportunity. You're fine. You're fine. This is a bad call on strategy. You're fine. So, um, it's almost 11 o'clock. Finally back in bed. <laughs> This is round about the time I'll normally start winding down for bed and I'll probably be asleep in about half an hour's time. The Apprentice was entertaining as always. Peep show was hysterical, so it was a good evening. Um, I'm feeling really, really tired from today, so I'm going to get a long sleep. I'm excited to get up nice and early tomorrow morning and do it all again.